What's up guys, welcome back to another figure review. This time I've got the uh, Crimson Guard from the G.I. Joe Retaliation line. So, I've been collecting Joes for maybe about a month now. And uh, this was one of the first ones I got because he's really, really cool. I like the red colour. Really nice. I uh, do have my LED light set up now, so got that going instead of having my little Darth Maul light. So yeah, let's get into this guy. Can't really see the head sculpt. It's um mainly just it's really really cool black. Oh yeah, there we go. That's better. Really cool black. Got a uh, red visor underneath there. Very hell gas looking from Killzone. I really really like that. Now these G.I. Joes have a bunch of accessories. Um, so this guy, get his arms and everything out of the way. You can see there he comes with a uh, pistol on the side. He's got a cutlass going into a, a sheath slash holder thing over here. And he does have a combat knife. He did come with this gun. And he did come with a uh, second assault rifle that I've got on one of my other G.I. Joes. It, uh, I think it was a Type 95. But yeah, and it does come with a removable backpack, and also the vest is removable. So I'll give you a really quick look at the accessories. Crazy detail on these guns. I like how it has the forward um, um, hand grip there, how I had him displayed before. I really like that. See all that detail in the gun. Oop. This is sword that he has. And of course, combat knife. Looks like it's a bit scratched up. And uh yeah. Vest is really cool on this figure. Ton of detail in that. See, so has a uh, cobra symbol there, and he did come with a um, I guess it was like a sticker sheet, where you meant to put a symbol up there and a symbol there for ranking and affiliation. I think it was. I'm not 100% sure. Didn't take too much notice of it because I didn't really want to go put stickers all over this figure. Looks good how he is. Um. But yeah, so there's another Cobra symbol there on that one. I don't know why they couldn't just print the um, other things on, I guess, for army building. If you want to have like a, a sergeant, then just have just fodder, but whatever. Really cool, this comes off. It's the, uh, yeah, so it's got two tones of red. Got this nice light red, which is the color of the jumpsuit, and he does have this more dark crimson red, which is like um, the armor and other stuff, accessory holders, and all that. Black boots, really cool, and gray knee pads, which just breaks up all the red and black from each other. But yes. The back, some nice detail. Something that's really cool. This um, this actually is on like a swivel in there, so you can you know, place it around, get it in, get it out of the way, and stuff like that. And I'll show you how the vest comes off. Just a little, pop that off there, and it'd probably be easier if I take the head off. The GI Joe vests can be a bit annoying to slip on and off. It also has like. Now Boba Fett has the like Wookiee braids. He has this thing over him like that. Hope I don't break it. I've never actually taken this guy's vest off before, so Okay, so that's attached to the shoulder guard, I didn't know that. But yeah, that's what it looks like underneath. I like him definitely a lot better with the um vest on. But, 
still really cool. So yeah, ton of accessories that these GI Joes seem to come with. Which I'm not going to complain about that. That's awesome. And yeah, hope you liked the review, guys. And thanks for watching. I'll catch you in the next one. Peace.